at Evergreen Gymnastics. We hope you're all staying healthy at home. Here's a warm-up we created for our rec level classes, so kinder kids through advanced to help you keep active at home, not using a lot of space. All right, so for all of these movements, you can do them for any amount of time or any amount of numbers. Um, Molly's going to go for about five to ten seconds for most of them today. She's going to start by running in place. Next, she's going to move on to high knees, trying to push through her toes. They're pointing every time, and her knees are coming up all the way as high as they can. Her arms are still pumping. Next, she's going to move on to kicking her bottom. Notice she's up tall still, but her feet are pointing every single time. Arms are still pumping. After that, she's going to move on to her jumping jack. So we're going to do just five right now. One, two, three, four, five. But once again, you can do as many as you want at home. Try to challenge yourselves. Um, so next, we're going to move on to our frog jumps, where she's going to squat all the way down to the floor and try to jump up as high as she can every single time. She's just going to do five of them. Three, four, five and five. All right, this next one is our candlestick rolls. Now, if you do not have a safe place to do this at home, we understand. Just don't do this. Maybe do more numbers with your other things, but if you do or you have lots of blankets on the ground or you can make it really padded, then you can practice our candlestick rolls, which is, uses our candlestick shape that we use on a lot of our events in gymnastics. So she's going to roll back, squeeze her bottom toes to the sky, and then stand all the way up, and she can even do a big jump if she wants to. You can do one more big one. Ready? All the way up as high as you can and a big jump. Very nice. All right, so next we're going to move on to some stretches. So she's going to stand with her feet a little bit apart, arms to the side. She's going to do five little circles backwards. And they're going to gradually get bigger until she does five big circles backwards. Then we're going to do the same thing but go forward. So small circles forward and gradually getting into large circles forward. Next, she's going to open her arms up really wide. <laughs> oh, that was fancy. And give herself a great big hug. Open and give herself a hug. She's going to do that five times. And then she's going to move on to twisting from side to side. Twisting from side to side. Next, she's going to hop her feet together and practice a stick just because. Good. That's how we stop our bodies in gymnastics. That's our stick. Hey, Miss Molly, what does a lunge look like? Do you remember that? Oh, look at that. Very nice. All right, next she's going to come down to the floor in a squat. What is a squat for gymnastics? Now you might see workout squats that are a little bit different for gymnastics. These are our squats that we do um, on the vault a lot of the times. And next she's going to have a seat. She's going to practice her tuck shape. So for a tuck, our legs are together, feet are pointed. For our pike, our legs are out in front of us, really, really straight. And legs still to er, together and feet pointed. Next she's going to move on to her straddle legs. Still pointed toes and straight legs, they're beautiful. Can you show us what a not so good straddle might look like? Ugh. We want to squeeze our legs. We don't want any space underneath our knees. We want them as straight as they can be. And our toes pointed knees looking up towards the ceiling. Next, she's going to see if she can balance in all those shapes. So she's going to try to balance in her tuck shape on her bottom. So pulling those legs up, that's our tuck. And our straight legs to a pike. And open legs to a straddle. And coming on down. So a challenge for you guys at home is to see how many times you can do your tuck, pike, and straddle while ba balancing in a row. So if you get three times through the first time, maybe see if you can get four or five the next time. All right, so next, from her straddle, if she would like to, or if any of you guys at home would like to try to work on your middle splits, we're gonna sit in our straddle and try to pull ourselves forward onto our elbows. Oh. <laughs> um, and try to hold it for a little while. This is something that you can practice if you're just hanging out watching TV. Um, that's how we get more and more flexible is when you're not even paying attention to what you're doing to try to help yourself um, get better in that aspect of gymnastics or... <laughs> or other sports. All right, so next she is bringing her legs together in a pike. And can you show us what pointing feet look like? See how her toes are looking down, legs are squeezing tight, good together? What about flexed feet? So we want you to practice both of those shapes. So we want you to point and flex your feet. So she's going to just do it five times, but at home, maybe more like 10 to 20 times practicing pointing and flexing with straight, tight legs. Next, we're going to keep our pointed feet. We're going to reach forward as far as we can, making sure there's no mountains on our legs. Can you show me? Ugh, yuck. She's going to have super straight legs so she can feel that extra stretch. 
and trying to put her nose down to her knees. Uh oh, her feet came unpointed. <laughs> there we go, that's better. All right, next she's going to stretch out her wrists. So we're going to do some roller coaster wrists. Or she can, <laughs> so she's going to make some roller coaster wrists, get her wrists all warmed up. We're getting fancy, rolling them in a circle. She can even put them on the floor and stretch her wrists out too. Can you show us how that would look? Hands flat and then pushing on them a little bit. Good, and maybe rolling around in a circle. Oh, there you go. Making sure her wrists get nice and stretched out. Next, she's going to have a seat. I can stretch my all day. <laughs> Next, she's going to have a seat and she's going to roll her ankles out. So she's going to roll her right ankle out five times. And oh, look at that pop. And then her left ankle out five times. Make sure they're ready to go for whatever she's going to do next after she's done getting all stretched. Um, all right, so lastly, we wanted you guys to see how you could practice your splits while you're at home. So in order to practice your splits, we start, in, um, we start by getting into the position on our knees. Now, if you are not very flexible or know that you need some work, I would put some couch cushions or pillows or something like that that you can hold onto with your hands. We're gonna, <laughs> that's what those green blocks are represented. We're gonna start with on our knees and we're gonna step one foot forward. We're gonna put our hands down either on the blocks or if you don't need them, um, just on the floor. And you're gonna try to slide down as far as you can, holding one hand on each side. Notice how her front knee is up and her back leg is down. If you aren't quite as flexible as Miss Molly, that's okay, we'd rather have you in the correct shape. We'd rather have you in that shape with your knees, or front knee up, back knee down, instead of over to the side like this. <laughs> yeah, that's not so good. All right. Yeah, that concludes our warm up and stretching for right now. You should um, stay tuned. We'll be sending out some more videos of things you can work on at home next.